Hi everybody, this is Chris. And this is Matt. And this is my microphone blinking on and off. Oh, so I can hear you okay. I can see me on the little bars down in OBS okay. Hmm. And right now, if you're joining us for the first time, you're probably like, why didn't they edit that out? We don't edit. We don't we don't know how to do that. Don't know how to do that. That's that's work and we don't do that here. What else don't we do here, Matt? We don't do reviews, Chris. We don't we do, do we do book club club style discussions. Yes. Where we play as much of the game as we can stand and then talk about it. Yeah. yeah. I felt like that was pointed because I, <laughs> I confessed to not really playing this game very much. Yes. So I'm sorry. And like it's not a good one to phone it in on. No, you because can't. It's so this. beloved, and there's a lot here. Well, that's more what I was gonna say. Is it's it's got a lot going on. It's it's not something I would I would say you could do like a cursory glance. You can play for a week and then like aha, I'm done. No, you gotta. You got to give it its 20, 30 hours it demands because it's going to take you on a ride. My problem this time, however, is I've already been on the ride once. Yeah. And now going back and looking at it, I just don't want to go again. I I don't. (laughs) I went through a bunch of it, but um, the twists, which I'll spoil, we'll spoil, we're going to spoil a bunch of this game here today. Yeah. Yeah, we always do. If you've never played this before and you liked System Shock, should absolutely give this a try. Yeah, this this is a lot better than System Shock, although I will say I really missed the cyberspace, the weird cyberspace shit that they did in the original System yeah. Shock. It was like delightful. It it I don't know that it was particularly like fun, but it was weird and it was like that whole cyberpunk vibe, which I'm I like. Right. You know? It had more of the uh nineties what cyberpunk is gonna be, like Lawnmower Man or mm-hmm. any of those things. Uh this has more kind of we're closer to actually what's cyberspace is kind of looking like kind of thing you know what i mean like it just it was cleaner it was more well done they introduced a tool that lets you have like psychic elements and use like basically magic mm-hmm. that was my big turn off for this hmm. and i'm sure a bunch of people are like the psi thing is what i love the most I'm like ah, it's if i am going to deal with some hard science sci-fi and i granted we're talking about a video game so hard is debatable here but it's the premise is on ai which actually topical uh yeah maybe we'll end up diverging about that uh because we don't review we'll go back to that too we don't review we talk about it we go off topic we come back on topic we see where it takes us. Uh, see where it takes us. And, and we're glad you're coming along with us. Or not. Maybe some of you left because I have an annoying laugh. <laughs> or I didn't play the fucking game. Because Matt didn't play the game. Um, you played it, though. I played it. You got in. You used some guns. You hacked some systems. You. I chose some skills. I fought yeah. some monkeys. You know, I, I mean, I, I hit a guy with a wrench a bunch of times yeah. while he said, kill me. Mm-hmm. Which is like 80% of the game, really. <laughs> I think my thing was I liked uh, I liked this I liked the first one better is what I was trying to say. Really? Yeah. Why? Uh, I just liked the way the whole story felt and fit together. It felt more It felt more like something I could believe was happening. Mm -hmm. Where once you added that sort of psi stuff, I'm already like one foot's out the door. Mm -hmm. And then um, 
some of it felt like a rehash of the first one. Uh, the controls and the speed just weren't there. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know that I felt... I've got people behind me. <laughs> That's okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. It just didn't... F it feels more like this is trying to be spooky, especially at the beginning, where the first one was scary because it was scary. And this just never checked that box for me. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... The it, it's a it's a role play first person role playing game, and you can't play it like a first person shooter really. No, or you will have a bad time. And I think that's one of the things that made this awesome when it came out mm -hmm. is at the time this is a mind blowing first person RPG. Well, it did so many cool things, like this thing with the ghosts here. Yeah. The the audio logs, like the audio logs are really well done. Mm -hmm. That device has been used a million times since, but I don't think that many times before. No, like, not too many. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it didn't invent the concept of finding the audio logs strewn all over the place, but the voice acting's really good, and the music's kind of cinematic and dramatic. And it's doing a lot of things really well. Um, but I I just like I really didn't like the how clunky the movement is and the combat. And I kept getting really resentful because I'd set off the alarms somehow, mm -hmm. like failing hacks or whatever, and then I'd be thrown into that combat. So it's not like thief or whatever one of those games where you can just like avoid combat necessarily you you end up in those wrench fights and you it's one of the it's like uh a game where there's not a lot of ammunition so mm -hmm. um i just i really didn't like the combat uh well and this goes back to again too like at the time um well, this is interesting. Hmm. Well, I'm looking at what's been recorded here. Hang on. I uh -oh. think I figured out my problem with the recording. What's that? Hang on. Uh... There it is. So, like, you're talking about that fight, right? Mm -hmm. Watch this now. Oh, look, there's the HUD. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, considering all we've come through in sort of game design and uh, keyboard, mouse, use mm -hmm. and how things work like it is hard to get behind this but at the time when we were still building these standards i mean this is 1999 mm -hmm. this is this is pre-halo or not halo uh probably pre -Halo. half life half life mm -hmm. so we were still in the how does first person work Mm -hmm. and for that it works really well however being from the future like you have to you can't be pushing forward and hit shift to run you have to stop walking hit shift hold it down and then press forward or not mm -hmm. shift whatever your run button is yeah, for me yeah. it's shift um, so you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't yeah, give you that polished. really polished control scheme. So it's all a little, a little wonky. Uh, yeah. I feel like this, like we're looking here at the, like the level up system back at the thing. 
I don't know that I like it in some regards. I don't like it in others. Like it, it helps make it more of an RPG, Mm -hmm. but like, hang on here. Yeah. Um, Well, and you like, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, no, no. I'm trying not to overwrite you. Oh yeah. Don't overwrite me. okay yeah I, you go ahead and talk for a second i'm trying to uh i want to look something up and it's not oh you're having some problems i am i think i got it figured out though okay so um so anyway it, i was talking about the controls right yes uh, I forgot what I was going to say about the controls, except that they are super duper clunky. Deus like, X comes out in 2000. Yes, and Deus, Deus X did this better, I think. Right. I, it, I, the inventory, the skill, the everything down the board chung, 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 just did it better. Um I, it, it annoyed me that they like put you in this game and then you're choosing your career path, but you don't really know how you want to play the game yet. And it, it felt kind of arbitrary, but then you're like in the game later and you kind of connect the dots. So mm-hmm. to start you off that way, I, I, I didn't, I mean, it's a, it's a cool idea to kind of like establish how you want to play yeah, but when you don't really know what all the skills are going to look like, it it's not it's not really a good system. Mm-mm. No, it would be interesting if like. So we got to talk about that tutorial at the beginning. I don't have it shown in here, but. Mm-hmm. First off, I hate unskippable tutorials. Mm-hmm. It, it's nothing will kill my desire to go back and replay a game faster than a tutorial I can't skip. Yeah. Um, I think mostly for the career, it doesn't matter because you end up being able to take whatever you want later anyway. That's true. But you don't know it at the time. You think you're signing into something. And that's not necessarily true. Yeah. I mean, it'd be nice if it were like, hey, you know, this is going, this, this is what, how this will change your skills. I don't think it does that, does it? I think it just tells you, do you want to go on? Like, There's, there was a way to do it. There was something that gave you like a heads up as to what it meant to take each of those doors. So what we're talking about is, is as you're walking in, uh, you go through like this boot camp that teaches you how to use the size stuff, how to use a gun, how to do all the things you're going to do in the game. Mm-hmm. And then you're given your first tour uh, where you go sign up for something for a career on a starship, and that's going to add some skills to you. Mm-hmm. And then you go and you do it again and you do it again. And it's it's supposed to give you this feeling of picking how your character is, who they are. Mm-hmm. But... <clears throat> By making you walk down halls instead of here's a data pad and what it's going to mean and then checking off what I want to do, you've made me spend time just walking around looking at what's basically an empty environment. Mm -hmm. You've like you didn't even notice that there were clues as to this is what this will get you. Maybe I did actually. It's been it's been a while since I played it. Yeah, I mean. But yeah, it, it it's, it's not a rough a start. It's not yeah. a graceful start, and that's the thing I will say about all of this: is it's good ideas, but none of it's graceful. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and somebody's this... going to be like, "They hate it." I started playing these games after Bioshock. Mm-hmm. I went back and played them 
Like I played Bioshock and I'm like, okay, I need to go find out what all the fuss was about. Why did we have like a series of Bioshock games that are based on these that everybody raves about and went back and played one and two back to back Mm -hmm. and had an amazing time and thought they were both better than Bioshock. Wow. Really? Yep. That's interesting because I like Bioshock way better than this. I'm sure a lot of people do. I, I don't, I'm not a really big fan of the spaceship full of corridors and this, the corridors in, in System Shock 2 were definitely, I think, more rich than the ones in Bioshock 1 just because there's more textures and the layout seems a little more logical mm-hmm. to me. And and they, they should have props for that. Yeah. But I, I liked how like varied the Bioshock environments were. Mm-hmm. And it, it felt like more of a living kind of environment than this. Yeah, I. But this I mean, is scary. You're supposed you're, su- you're supposed to be coming into, um, a more dead environment here. It is meant to be more. Yeah. Sterile. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right. That's me screwing up the camera because I forgot it was there. Yeah, I know. I hate those cameras. I yeah, wish so this... there was more. So there are security cameras here and there scattered around. Uh, if you hack them, they turn off for a limited amount of time. I have a problem mm-hmm. with that. If Because then the only reasonable solution is to destroy them. Like, even right. if you hack them, your best move is to hack them long enough to go under them and destroy them. <laughs> What is up with the hacking mini game in this fucking thing? I did not get it. It seemed just like, uh, it didn't seem like anything. There's no strategy really. Like, do you click the, the danger ones that are gonna set off the thing and hope it completes the three dots in a row? Like, I didn't get it. Uh, I think I hacked something later. We'll we'll come back to it. You're supposed to connect a certain amount of dots depending on how difficult what you're trying to hack is. Oh, good. I'm going to yeah. do it right here. Yeah, you can do it right here. Yeah, yeah I told you. Oh, no, I'm not because I don't have the skill yet. Oh. That requires a level two skill, which is Thanks one of the things Christ. that, like, I would rather. Okay, here, here we go. Do it here. Um, let me get ready to pause. Okay. So, no, you don't want to click the danger ones. You do want three lit dots in a row or five or however many you need. The black ones are randomly assigned. They're things you can't click on. So if you run out of squares and can't get three in a row, you failed at the hack. But it's like predetermined, right? Well, I don't think it is. I think it's a random thing when you click a box as to whether it's going to light up or go dark. Right, and it, so it reflects your skill, but there's no, the the strategy is so rudimentary. It's pretty. It's it's not an exciting mini game. Um, some of them will I, have I more complicated layouts based. where you're like, oh, I'm gonna have to do this, and so you might go like, maybe you need five, and you go one, two, three, and you're going down a row, and then the fourth one blanks out. Mm-hmm. If you haven't given yourself a backfill, or something like that, where you can then try and add on in the other direction. Mm-hmm. You you might have hosed the entire possibility. Does that make sense? It it does, but yeah, I yeah. I'm not I'm not like everybody's got to try this hacking game. It's not right. The oh. the lock picking in in Skyrim is like way better for a opening things mini game. Yeah, I mean, I mean that was irritating as hell, but at least it was like predictable. Right. Uh. Well, and you felt like you were doing something. Right. Like, like you, like it's being you did to not you. feel like you were doing something in this hacking game. Yeah. And that's, you know, that's kind of a sin for that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this was... Uh, There's this lots was... of little individual items you can pick up, like the wrench and potato chips and... Yeah, which is fun. Like, I like to eat the potato chips... And you you can research things. Did you get to the research stuff? Yeah, I got to the research stuff. 
Uh, I got to the chemicals, the weird chemicals that they're like, don't try to do anything with them. We're just going to tell you when we need them. And I was like, well, okay. So I would, And that's, again, another missed opportunity to me. I would have loved mm-hmm. to see uh, a way to just mad science. Mm-hmm. And maybe right. they mix and match each time so you don't know whether you're going to blow yourself up or something. But, mm-hmm. yeah, just I felt like a missed opportunity on that research thing. But it all in all, it wasn't bad. I remember when I played the game the first time, I, I had my laboratory of chemicals where when i found special chemicals that you needed to unlock things at different Mm -hmm. places i would bring them all back to my one lab that i would do Mm -hmm. and that's sort of the you know that's one of the points i'll give this for over over uh bioshock is and you will have different opinions on this bioshock drove you forward through the entire thing. That's true. There was a path and you followed it and things happened when you went down it. This, like you said, it's a more realistic quote unquote map where Mm -hmm. it's all loops and you're going up and down and you got to try and figure out where you are and compared to other things. And you might find yourself back in the same spot, but having come at it from a completely different direction Mm-hmm. All of that matters for figuring out how to get around doors and locked things. And you'd think I'd be gushing about that sort of stuff. But it comes down to I hate moving in this so much that everything I just said is unsatisfying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I just. And I'm sure there's like some tools to fix the controls mapping and stuff like that that maybe we need, but that's that's not the game we played. We played the game, you know, on Steam. This is, this is not the enhanced edition, no. though. This is like the kind of the more original with a few fixes, I think. Yeah. Um, I have played the enhanced edition, and it does add quite a bit. Really? Yeah, it's it's... Like the graphics are better and there's more detail and it's it's good. It's weird that sometimes like these, th- there are games that I will throw myself at over and over again and hate the whole time. And then there's games like this that like I know there's good stuff in here. Like this is a good it's game. Too it's too slow to get to it. Right. It's, it, it, we have said this once. We've said it a million times. You have to respect your player's time. And this doesn't, the slowness here doesn't necessarily build the tension. It's Mm -hmm. just slow. Like I played this long enough ago that I don't remember the layouts very well. Mm -hmm. Like I remember there's a loop in the med center and it takes you back to a certain spot and there's some doors I'll come in later. And you know what I mean? Like I remembered some basics, Mm -hmm. but um, I remember the radiation maze down on yeah. level three, I want to say it is. Um, yeah, I got to the radiation. Oh, maze. you did? Okay, good. I so did, you got yeah. farther than I thought. Uh, yeah. The thing I definitely remember, and it's one of the cooler aspects of this is, and so here's where spoilers start. Like the person you're talking to at the beginning Three, two, one. spoilers seriously if you want to play system shock this is your bow out time um the person who's initially talking to you at the beginning is shodan from the first one and and i loved the story tie as to what you did in the first one that is why she's here and it made sense and i didn't leave hating it Mm-hmm. You know, which is strange. Like, <laughs> what do you mean you didn't right. leave hating it? I... Um, and then she is going to use the hyper jump, the hyperspace window that basically puts you everywhere in the universe at once as a way of rewriting the universe in her own image, not just the ship, but everything by using hyperspace. Okay. 
she has figured out how to like start changing the physical reality of everything. Mm -hmm. And the first thing she starts doing is recreating her home back on Citadel Station. So after you've gone through all this shit to beat her and the hyperspace happens, you find yourself at the beginning of System Shock 1 in these new graphics and everything, and you've got to go fight her there. And I'm like, that is a really incredibly fun, cool callback. And having just played System Shock 1, mm -hmm. I knew where I was going. I knew how to get to where I wanted. I knew when things looked weird that that's where I should be going for. Um, and yeah, years ago, I... The controls didn't bother me as much, but now it's like, I just don't want to. Yeah. Yeah. I know I mean, the that... story. I'm not tense and the controls aren't good. Yeah. I, the story is great. Like both of, both of the, the plot lines of these games are, it's really interesting. And like Shodan is a great villain. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it, it's just that you have to engage in the story. Right. In order to really get that out of it and for the plot twist to be meaningful. And I just kind of like didn't. You bounced off it. Didn't get there. Yeah. <sighs> but the thing is, this game is beloved. 92% on Metacritic for this game. Yeah. Top, one of the best games ever. Mm -hmm. And so, like, I'm pretty sure that I'm the one who sucks because I couldn't get into it. And it's not like, um, what was that game that I was so mad about that I kept Auto trying Duel? to play? No, not Auto Duel. I mean, I'm still mad about Auto Duel. Um, it was another cyberpunk game. With Out this... of this world. No, that's the one you're mad about. No, I'm I, pretty sure uh, you're mad about it, too. I'm pretty Syndicate. sure we're both mad about Syndicate. it. That's how I yeah. remember it going down. <laughs> no, I, I like out of this world. I will always like out of this world. The other cyber can't be a Neuromancer. It, it's Syndicate. It was Syndicate. Syndicate. I desperately yeah. wanted to like that and just hated it the whole time. This, I just kept sitting down to play it and starting and then just going, ugh. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. You can, you can redeem yourself <laughs> in the eyes of people you give no shits about. <laughs> yeah. You don't like the game established, or rather, I should say, you didn't have fun. Is it a good game? I don't care about your fun. Mm -hmm. Is it put together well? Is it does it succeed at doing what it's set out to do? I, I think it does. Okay, I think the role playing aspects are meaningful. I think. You can play it. You can adapt your play style to your skills. I think the plot is there. I think the character development is there. The mood is great. Like it's it's doing everything. It's I think it's a successful game. It didn't age well. I think. Yep. But I, especially for the for the time, I, I think it was it is a good good game. I just didn't have fun playing it. If you can like. And I think some of this is, too, like you bounced off the first one. Mm -hmm. Like you weren't that into the first one either. Um, right. You have to be interested in what's happening. This is a completely, and this is, this is of the era where Origin leaned all in on that kind of, of storytelling and i know this isn't origin at this point this is looking glass and... right just like post origin yeah but it still comes from that uh they started like ultima 5 started tipping that way and it just kept going more and more and more and more of their games became mm -hmm. we're gonna tell a story rather than give you a world to play in they still created an amazing world to tell that story in. Mm -hmm. But, and this is how I bounced off it, is the story is more important than the world. Mm -hmm. And I've heard it already. Right. And so 
if I want to hear it again, I've got to go through all this entry level. I've got to go through that, uh, you know, tutorial that I just, I think it took me three tries to get through the tutorial when we did this. And I'm like, we're in trouble because I knew I'm like, I'm, I'm already not having a good time. And I know I had a great time the first time I played it. Mm -hmm. I still like the first one better and did then too. So Mm -hmm. I already recognized in my mind, the first one had something that spoke to me on that level differently. Um, Yeah. The thing I keep trying to avoid because I want to do an episode on it and I've already kind of talked to you a little bit about it is whether you like or dislike a game often comes down to one moment. Mm -hmm. And once you've had your moment, that game is set. Mm -hmm. Uh, We were talking about another world. And for you, those little guys that came up, the little landmine crawly stabber worm worm guys. And it goes, get you in the leg. You had that happen to you and you were like, I'm in. I know what this game is. I'm all in on it. Cool. Mm -hmm. I didn't really have a moment until I hit that maze thing where like, if you don't free your guy on one screen, you're going to lose 10 screens later. Mm -hmm. And that was my moment that the entire summary of my experience with the game comes down to that thing. And then everything Mm -hmm. else gets colored by it where you're like, there's these weird, strange worms that pop out of nowhere and get you. The game's out to get you. I'm in. That's very true. And I think with this, you have this slow... St- when you're making a game, you want your player to have that experience, that moment, very early in. And you mm-hmm. want it to be good. Because if it's a good early moment, the rest of the game doesn't even need to be good. They right. will justify it to justify how they felt about that first moment. Or right. if you didn't have a good time, they every other moment's like, okay, yeah, but I still had this thing happen to me. Mm-hmm. And you never you never fully let go of your bad taste. Yeah. And in this particular case, playing this game in 2023 you have that intro tutorial that's slow and meaningless and then you pick a bunch of stuff that you don't understand what's going on and has nothing to do with the story Mm -hmm. and you are 15 20 minutes in and the story's just starting and someone's screaming at you to run and the controls are not letting you run correctly You've had multiple bad experiences before the game started. Mm-hmm. And and the 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 first time you encounter these zombie things, yeah. you open you see the ghost and that's cool. And then you open the door and like three of them run at you, take these clumsy ass swings with wrenches that it doesn't feel like there's any kind of like real hit tracking involved. It feels just totally arbitrary. Yeah. And then you kind of swing at them with your wrench. And it's it feels so anemic and just not interesting. And and all three of them say the same exact thing. Like this the sound design in this game is really good, mm-hmm. but it does get samey a little bit when you're when you're fighting a herd of those guys and they're all saying, Kill me. Yeah. Like that that got on my nerves a little bit. Well, and back to the point I just made. Notice the sound design's really good is your butt. Mm -hmm. Not the sound design's really good, but sometimes it gets samey. It's it's really samey. But it's good really samey. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) It that flip is totally a personal thing. And that's what I mean by like this is why we don't do reviews. Mm-hmm. It's an opinion. And and you may have exactly the same opinion, but come at it from an angle 
that you're like, yeah, I've got that opinion. I love it. And that's another world for us. That's you and I have the same opinion. You love it. I'm like, fuck this game. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Yeah. This is, uh, did this come out before or after Thief? Because this is the same guy, Ken Levine. Levine? Uh, let me check. I think Thief was before this, but I'm not sure. I want to say Thief was before this, but do not hold me to that. Uh, because this could have used... 1998, so yeah. Yeah, so this was a year... Thief was a year before. This could have used a little thiefery. Mm-hmm. Um, because I... I feel like skulking around behind those mutant guys would have been better than them just running at you and swinging a wrench. Yeah, it. Well, and it's so hard. It. This was one of the games along with Ultima Underworld. And don't send me hate mail about this shit. Um... <laughs> Keep the hate mail in the comments. Right. Yeah. Uh the controls are what turned me off to these and that lack of feeling like something was going to happen for a long time because of ultima underworld i'm like first person rpgs are never going to be a thing i mean Mm -hmm. obviously way fucking wrong but (laughs) just way wrong way 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 yeah uh but it took a while to get took a while i knew we weren't there Mm -hmm. because it is there's no juice to the fight Mm -hmm. like i get hit and the screen flashes red but i'm not getting a sense of direction i'm not getting yeah completely yeah like okay i knew like okay i'm getting hit there but like it doesn't was that a heavy shot a light shot uh right it feels kind of disconnected a lot of the time just across the board it it feels disconnected yeah and in a lot of cases if you can shoot somebody they can shoot you and they're set up to pop out at you in a way where that's the case Mm -hmm. and yeah they got a respawn mechanic if you eventually get to it so it's it's not like it's yeah which i appreciate unfair unforgiving game but yeah i don't know it's a survival uh, horror game that leans into the action but doesn't deliver on the action. Yeah. I hated the in- managing ammo, too. I, I just, like... You just want to shoot. Yeah. I just want to shoot. You, you want to run and gun, and this is not that. But it looks like it is. Mm-hmm. And that's, you know, it's not setting your expectations correctly. Yeah. And I think the tutorial at the beginning doesn't help with that when the first thing they do is put a gun in your hand and go shoot at things. If, Mm -hmm. you know, if they had you um, do more stealthy stuff or figure out how to get by cameras or do the things you're actually going to do in the game more often, Mm -hmm. or that's where you teach about research. Don't wait until I'm in here. Yeah. And give me a chance to just walk past it all and not care. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I... Yeah. 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 I'm I'm bummed because when the, the, there's a game that so many people love, and I know that I just like couldn't bring myself to play it very much and didn't really like it. I I feel like that's unfair. Right. And what I was gonna say is I think we need to we need to take long enough off that you don't remember this but you mm-hmm. remember that it's not what you expected yeah and then try it again play it again mm-hmm. i think maybe... you'll see a very different you'll come at it with a different attitude because you'll come in knowing what you're supposed to be coming in for right and since even though you kind of know the story the like different beats and hits for it are new to you although you you got a decent ways in like yeah it's not like you didn't get anywhere in um i i was thinking like (laughs) you didn't even get off the first floor so i'm (laughs) i got off the first floor but yeah i 
you know, maybe maybe there's someone who, watching this who like secretly hates this game and like everybody's yeah. made too big a deal about it. Yeah, and now they're gonna be like, Matt gets me, man. That gets me. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. I do get you, maybe. buddy. You don't have to like everything that everyone else likes. No. And if you do like it, great. Yeah. I love it when people like things, even if I don't like them. Right. I like, and I think I got off track with this when I was talking about Bioshock takes you like through the game. Mm -hmm. In this game, like I said, I remember building up my chemical warehouse. I remember building up like strongholds and it felt more real. I just saw the chemical room again. That's what made me think of it. Mm -hmm. You know, I like that about it. There's lots of things I like about the game. I never want to play it again. I've finished it. Like, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. I'm, I'm good. Um, I watched someone else beat it. Yeah. Like, I was like, well, I can't do it, but maybe I can at least, you know, live see vicariously. What happens. Pal yep. It yeah. If, if, yeah. I also feel like. Like, I know the leveling system is a great RPG element that they added in, but I felt disconnected from it. It felt like it got in my way more than made me want to expand on it. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. already, like, I'm in one room. I took, like, the hacking engineering paths, and, like, the first room in is like, you need to be level two. I'm like, do I? feel yeah. like you should have given me at least the first room like <laughs> right that first box you mean yeah you have to be level two to hack yeah that made me mad i was like well you just like you just like gave me this all these skills and let me choose what i want and then you immediately like don't you can't do this and they give you like here's all the canisters to upgrade your skill which we'll talk about in a second um pick what you're going to take into the citadel Oh, did you pick the right ones? Too bad. Well, that's the thing. Again, they 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 are making you make choices before you've experienced the game and really decided what you right. want it to be like. Like yeah. I don't care about size skills. I didn't want to do it. Maybe so, maybe I would have had more fun if I did. But so you're saying you don't like it when a game like ambushes you with a problem before you can see the problem. I guess so, yeah. And yet, <laughs> you like another world. <laughs> out of another this world. world, all the pieces were there. I, I mean, don't know you that just they had were. To... There were some rooms you just walked in and people started shooting. A another world wasn't like it wasn't like you know choose your choose your skills and your loadout before you've even done anything. Well, I think that's what's the more mean spirited part of it, is like. If I just walk into a room and they go, ha, ha, I gotcha, it's like, okay, you decided to be a jerk, whatever. This is, okay, pick, buddy. You got this. I believe in you. Psych. Yeah. You can take a back and dummy. Yeah, yeah, idiot. You chose wrong. And not that you chose wrong. You you can, there's yeah, multiple ways right. to solve problems. There's multiple ways to get around things. Someone's going to be like, you didn't have to pick that, or you could have done it a different way. I know right, I but can. But it feels bad, because you want to hack the first thing you find to hack. Yeah. You, like, want to do it. You want to experience it. Yeah. But, I mean, you, you, you're right. And and it's and we're, I'm making it sound like you're choosing your whole fate right in the beginning. Yeah. And you're definitely not, because you get a lot of skill updates. And, like, you can take whatever path you want so that's not really fair to say right you do get completely. a lot of skill updates that is one of my problems though is you just occasionally get handed we're ready to let you level up again mm -hmm. not go do things to help you level up not hack a bunch of stuff to get better at hacking just mm -hmm. here's skill canisters when we decide to give you some more skill canisters you can upgrade something hopefully yeah. it'll be what you use next and it makes you not want to spend the skill canisters because you want to save it till you hit a problem and then go back. But mm -hmm. at the same time, the tutorial in your head's screaming, use those as fast as you can. Right. And it's like, uh, 
Why? <laughs> yeah. And fuck those monkeys, man. I hated the Oh, you're those supposed monkeys. to. Yeah. And I, I hated getting blasted with things that I couldn't even see yet. Well, yeah, and that's it. Like, I didn't have a good sense of stuff sneaking up around me. I didn't have a good sense of... Mm-hmm. of it, it, it's not bad, and I understand that for the time, it did an amazing job of all that. It just now, as an old curmudgeon man... Uh, and as your old curmudgeon friend, I yeah. happen to agree. It, it's The graphics are good, especially for the time. The yes. story is good, especially for the time. Yes. Uh, the atmosphere is good, especially for the time. The combat is bad, even for the time. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's real bad. The RPG elements are either your jam or they're not. The mm-hmm. psi elements are either your jam or they're not. Uh, the very nuanced inventory is your jammer it's not i like mm-hmm. it i know you don't I, I that is actually one of the things i do like about this game i love a complicated inventory <laughs> do you? i really do i love a complicated oh, tetris style we got different types of ammo for the gun and i wouldn't mind yeah. like maybe you got a scope or a silencer or some other stuff you can put on i mean gun. i usually like that shit but th- this time i i just was like perpetually out of ammo and and the gunshots do seemingly an equal amount of damage as the wrench because it takes two bullets to kill someone and hitting them with a wrench twice kills them so Mm -hmm. like when i got that pistol i was like i'm gonna be fucking dudes up left and right now i'm gonna one shot these no because it comes down to your skill level affects how much damage you do with stuff and that's it relies too heavily on the level because the level needs to be meaningful I would have rather seen, like, the guns don't need a level. Mm-hmm. They just need, you know, just science, the research, the hacking, the stuff like that. That can level up. The psi stuff, that could level up. Uh, mm-hmm. Attributes, sure, that could level up. Um, but this is, again, where it's hard to not compare this to Deus Ex. There are things I would love to see in more of a Deus Ex thing, because Deus Ex does that story thing, too, where it takes you from scene to scene to scene. Mm -hmm. I like that this is, here's your world, explore it. Um, Yeah, solve your problems. Solve your problems, do research. But the Deus Ex thing I was going to talk about is how they handle levels for guns is the wobble. Is, yes, and that get, is much better. Yeah, that's a much better way to do it rather than up your damage as right. you get better. Right. I get it. It's It was, you know, we're learning still at this stage how to do these. Mm-hmm. And so I can, I can cut them a bit of slack, but not all the slack. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like there is some, there is some part of this conversation has to be we're not playing this game in 1999. Mm-hmm. We're playing it in 2023. Yeah. It's and when, when I think especially with scary stuff, the nostalgia factor is very strong. So like the things that scared me as a kid, I feel intense nostalgia for, and I, I can get in touch with those feelings again, but I don't have any nostalgia for this because this is like the first time I played it. Mm-hmm. So, like, I, I wonder how much of the people who are still singing the praises of this game, how much of that is just like finding that dude hanging above the thing. Like that was that was that a was great their moment. moment. That yep. that was their one moment. Like, oh, I now I'm into this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I don't know. Yeah, and I'm sure that's some of it. They had a really good moment, especially because there were no moments like this. Right. Now you can get them. Dime a dozen. Every game, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dead Space and like all the, all the things that came after this. Yeah. This made all those possible. Like you have mm-hmm. to give this points for you wouldn't have Dead Space. It just wouldn't be there. Um, 
you wouldn't have a I'm trying to think of other games but it you wouldn't have any of the Bioshocks obviously yeah um I don't know that we would have like Skyrim like I hmm. understand Morrowind and stuff came out before this don't get on my case but the way they chose to pursue things you know this had this definitely had an impact on that sort of stuff yeah this was important for sure yeah that thing was shooting you through the window i hated that that made me so mad just like three of them out there too by the way yeah. like it's more than one yeah i don't know i it's a really good game I never want to play it again. <laughs> yeah. You, so, you so don't they, have the nostalgia. It gave you a bad first moment. It's it's not when you look at this setup, it's not what you want to play. I mean. Yeah. Maybe in two years, three years, when someone stumbles across it and says, I'm an asshole, this is one that I might. Yeah. Like, okay. I was probably wrong. Like, I'll go back. I'll, I'll know what I'm getting into a little more and maybe I can hang with it. That is one of the things I'm going to try to do more with the games we got coming up is give you more of a heads up. Have you test them more? I think part of last year's selection of games and this falls under that is I've been going in blind because I don't want an expectation, but I think I need to stop doing that. I think I need yeah. to go and get an expectation and they come out if I'm going to give these games a fair shake. Mm -hmm. um, that said, I've beaten this game, so I know I'm giving it a fair shake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> true, true. Yeah. And I, I like it. That's all I, got. I still like it better than Bioshock. Yeah. I don't want to play Bioshock again either. I would love. Bioshock is one of those games to me that I, I would love to have the experience of playing it for the first time again. I really would because I don't know if I was just like in a place with my life or whatever, yeah. but it, it felt really like just kind of mind blowing to me from, from the moment you are swimming around by that plane crash. Mm -hmm. It's just like such a trip because you're just like plunged into this weird thing. Like, I love that stuff, but I, I hear you. You don't have to agree with me. <laughs> well, and I think again, like once again, when you were plunged into that thing right away at the beginning, it grabbed you with a moment. Mm -hmm. This is like, please walk through our obstacle course. <laughs> there is a single obstacle on your right. Please shoot yeah. it. Good yes. job. Take 10 steps forward. Pick up this new thing. Mantle this. Mantle this. I get it. I've played video games. I know how to mantle. <laughs> well, at the time you didn't, though. I, that's true. That's, that's true. That's why it had to be there. But mm -hmm. it's my suggestion to anyone making games going forward now. Yes, there needs to be a tutorial because you will find that person who's this is their first. You are their virgin experience for this thing. You have to show them how to do it. But for the rest of us, Give us a fast pass lane. Let us just go right around. The, the exception to that rule, though, the tutor the unskippable tutorial that I will always play and always love every single time. Blood Dragon is Blood Dragon. It's yes! so funny, <laughs> so good. That is such a good job of integrating it into the world in a way that's fun. Yep, Far um, Cry Blood Dragon. Far Cry Blood Dragon. I was Nothing so hoping you were going to say that. Like, yep. <laughs> it's just like fun it's so funny either he's gonna go oh shit no blood dragon <laughs> that's the one <laughs> and then tell me another one that's good but no it's definitely blood dragon yeah all right perfect perfect yeah no it, make sure you build in a way to skip the tutorial yes, where someone please. who knows what they're doing can just go bloop and on to the game yes all right. Uh, I think we've pissed off enough people, made some people Yeah, sad we're sorry. Like, uh, especially me. I don't think Chris is sorry, but I am sorry, everyone. So <laughs> please don't stop don't believing. Uh, I think we're going to, we're this next game, We're it's going to be a while before we get to it again. But 
I think you and I are going to have a game theory conversation next time. Yeah. And then after that, we will do uh, another live stream so we can venture yeah. get through Knox. But then, Dungeon Siege. Yes. Yes. Gas powered games. This is a you request, so no feeling bad about it. No tag back. You gotta like it. You gotta have a good time. I know. I, I desperately wanted to play this now <laughs> for some reason. I don't know why. I was like, I need to play Dungeon Siege. It's been many, many years, so yeah. We'll see. We'll see if I'm right back here saying everyone loves this game, but I hate it. <laughs> uh it was not well loved at the time. Really? Uh, a lot of reviews for this was that it basically auto-played itself. Um, it didn't have a lot of depth to the role-playing experience. It... And here's we'll the thing. I loved this game. <laughs> yeah. I loved, I loved the construction kit that came with this game. I wish it still had multiplayer. Yeah. That's kind of a bummer. We could have a good time playing this multiplayer, but whatever. Oh, well. Yeah, is what it is. Uh, so we'll see how it holds up. That'll be interesting for us. Um, yeah. And obviously we're going to cover a couple other topics over the next thing. If there's a, a game design topic you'd like us to just riff on for a little bit, put it in the notes or hit us on Discord or do any of that stuff. I have an idea what we're going to talk about, but... Um, I, I don't want to taint the well, so yeah. Tell us what you guys want us to talk about. Yeah, as long as it's not Leisure Suit Larry, we're as long as it's unborn. not Sierra Games. Why are they the greatest? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks everybody for watching. Thanks. We'll talk to you next Bye. time. Bye. Big thank you to all of you watching, sharing, liking, subscribing, suggesting games, commenting on our videos, or supporting us on Patreon. We appreciate all of your support and look forward to sharing many more videos with you. Thank you again.